Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is finally the last two looks, one palette with the last of my Jaclyn Hill Morphe Bolt. So if you've seen any of the other videos, you know that I have been working on doing two looks with each of the Jaclyn Hill palettes that come in the vault. So if you haven't seen the previous videos, I definitely recommend you check them out. I'm going to link them on the little eye up there, or is it up there? Yes, I'm going to link it on the little eye up there. Um, so you guys can follow the link and see the rest of the videos in this little series. The one in this video, as you probably saw in the title, is the Ring the Alarm palette, which, which is a very warm, like, fall vibes type of palette. Um, I absolutely loved it. As you can see, I went ahead and did one look in each eye for the video today. So I will be teaching you how to recreate these looks at home. Very, very easy break it down for you simple steps i am wearing some very short velour lashes which i was surprised normally i feel like velour lashes are so like full and dramatic and these are like barely there sorry if i keep looking that way that's where i have my little monitor anyways if you guys are new to my channel my name is patty and i would love it if you subscribed we do lots of tutorials and makeup reviews here on this channel so i would love it if you join my little family um also if you like this video go ahead and please give it a thumbs up thumbs up are very very appreciated and if you want to get notified whenever i upload please ring the little bell right next to the subscription button i don't have a set schedule when i upload so that way anytime i upload you'll get a notification and you know that you you can come back and watch my video later so let's not make this intro any longer let's go ahead and get started with these two makeup tutorials all right guys so let's get started with the first look the first color i'm going to use is the color rush and i'm using it with my e23 brush from morphe and i'm going to blend it on the crease of my eye this works great as a transition color and i'm also going to build it up in the outer part so that it's a little bit more intense than just a transition. I love that this palette is all warm, so it's very like fall. I don't have any like inner corner or highlight colors in this palette, so we'll see what we can do about that. I always said I didn't want to like cheat and use like other colors, so let's see what I come up with. I'm going to tap on the outer corner of my eye and make it very nice and even like that. So I'm now grabbing a brush that has absolutely nothing on it and I'm just going to use it to diffuse that upper edge so that it blends right into my skin and there is no harsh line. See, there's not a harsh line there anymore. I'm going to do the same thing right here. I'm just going to blend back and forth because there was a little tiny bit of creasing going on. I'm going to use this like pointed Morphe brush and I'm going to grab the color Framed. And I'm going to tap it on the outer corner. That is a beautiful color of my eye right there. I'm making sure that I'm laying the brush flat on my lid and then blending because I don't want to diffuse that shadow super high up. So now I'm grabbing my bigger brush that I started with and I am diffusing that and blending those two colors together. Okay, and now I'm going to use an M513, which is a smaller pointed brush and the color Secret. And I'm going to add it to the outer corner. Just pat it there. And I'm blending it only on the outer part of the eye into the crease. I'm going back with my other brush that I put the purple on with and I am diffusing those colors. And now I'm grabbing a lip brush. This is a lip brush from Sephora Collection, the number 81. And my vanilla concealer from NARS. And we are going to cut this crease. Alright, and I am speeding up this part for you guys because it took me forever. Alright, so this is what it looks like right now. And I'm going to go back with my brush that had the purple in it and the color framed. One more time. I'm going to grab a little bit of it and we're going to tap it on right there and make it mix. So now with my number 15 brush, I'm going to grab the color Lolly. I love that she named a color after her dog, by the way. <laughs> and we're going to put it on the highest point. And then with that same brush, I'm going to grab Bombay Ass. And we're going to put it all over 
our eyelid all the way up to where we cut that crease. And again, I'm going back and tapping the purple where the colors meet. And then with a clean brush, I'm making sure this all blends back here. I don't know about this look and right now it looks very weird, but I'm going to have faith in it and I'm going to finish it and see what I think about it. Right now, I don't love it. I also never do cut creases, so I feel like I think it looks a bit weird. I'm going to try to use this as an eyeliner. It's a lip brush with the color Lolly, and I did spray the brush so that it would have a little bit more pigment payoff. I'm taking the color Lolly now on a fluffy brush and putting it on the inner corner because this is the lightest color in this palette and I think because I don't want to sheet I'll use it in the inner corner but I want it to be a little bit diffuse so that it's not necessarily part of that cut crease. There we go. So let's do the under eye. I'm sorry if this one was a little bit all over the place. I just did not know where I was going with this, but I am seeing it now. So I'm going to get the color framed and I'm putting it right underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to blend that out with the color Rush. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. So um, we are going to put lashes on and mascara and I'll come back for the final look. It is very intense and dramatic, but I kind of like it. All right, so this is look number one. So we're going to get started with look number two and I'm grabbing a M518 and the color Alert. And we're going to put Alert all over the crease of our eye. We're doing windshield wiper motions. This palette has so many shimmers that I don't know that I can use them all, but I will try. So to intensify this one, I'm going to use Mug Shot. Same brush, I'm putting it on the outer corner and blending it in. And then I'm going to use this clean brush and I'm going to use the color Siren. And I'm putting it on the outer corner of my eye. This one has a little bit of like a very tiny shimmer in it but it doesn't translate. Like when you put it in your eyes, it looks mostly matte. So that is excellent. And I put it on the outer corner of my eyelid, on the outer half of my eyelid, and blended it into the crease a little bit, like you're seeing me do here, all the way in. I don't know if I said it, but the brush I used for is the M433. I'm going to use the color Boom, and I'm putting it in the center of the eyelid. Actually, two-thirds of the eyelid. So from the center of the eyelid and all the way to the inner corner. And I'm not wetting this brush or anything. I'm just tapping, tapping, tapping. That's a very pretty look. I'm going back to this brush and I'm going to grab the color Siren with the tip of it and I'm putting it underneath my eye. This is the M433. And then I'm grabbing some alerts and we're going to blend it right underneath it. And we're blowing it way down and we've done like a very like overall coppery look i am not mad at it so the only color left to use is on camera and we're going to put it on the inner corner of the eye blend it a little bit underneath and a little bit on the eyelid okay so just like this guys so again we're going to put some mascara and lashes on and i will be right back to show you the final look and this is look number 10. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I really, really hope that you liked it. Um, let me know which look is your favorite. Is it the one with all the like reddish tones and the very like deep eye or is it this one that looks like a leaf that just fell out of a tree <laughs> um i would love to know which one is your favorite now that this is the last um, video in this series let me know which palette is your favorite or which one you're thinking to buy now that you've watched like types of looks that you can do with all of them i would love to know what your favorite palette is I think my favorite is still the Blink Boss palette, which is the purpley one that I did my first video on. Again, you can check it out. Um, and my second favorite has to be the Armed and Gorgeous because it surprised me. 
so much. This is third favorite and then the Dark Magic palette. I loved it, don't get me wrong, but if I had to pick one last, that would be it. So thank you so much guys for watching my videos. Um, don't forget to give this one a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really, really helps promote my video. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.